Hey everybody, this is Slay XTR. I'm bringing you a new horror series on my channel called What the Horror. What we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to be playing one section of a horror game. Like I'm going to play like the start, starting 15 minutes of a horror game or a little bit more depending on the time frame that we got to work with. What's going on with this is I'm actually going to talk about the environments, the atmosphere, the horror game, the... the the fear factor, uh, if there's you know jump scares, I'm gonna talk about that stuff a little bit. Things that they could that I feel that's great about the game and what's not great about the game within 15 to 20 minutes of playtime, which is very hard to do and for most games. Because you usually have to be an hour or two or eight hours into a game just to find out. But horror games are different. Horror games tend to get straight into the action, maybe not even 10 minutes into the game. Especially with these indie horror games. This one was developed by Rubicon, published by Meridian 4. And I've heard some great things about this game. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into this. If you want me to do more Let's Plays, of, or let me do a further parts into this game, if you actually want me to do it, then go ahead and like the video. Let me know in the comments below. Say, hey, Slayer, do more of this game. I want to see more of it. And I finally got a webcam and everything set up. I've been fighting this damn thing forever to get everything situated the way it needs to be. I finally did it. I finally know how to approach the situation. These videos are going to fucking rock, so let's start a new game. Now, we've it's situated in three acts. The prologue, act one, and act two, and act three. We're going to start at the prologue. And if, I'm not, if it's look, too much story, then what we're going to do... I'm not, and I'm going to wait till all the cutscenes are out before I start my 15 minutes because you can't really do much with that. So let's go ahead and I see some flames. I can kind of look around, not much though. Am I, move, am I moving myself? I thought I was, but I, apparently I'm not. I see a light. Whoa, that kind of looks like this place isn't what we thought it was. Please. Whoa, what the hell is that to the right? Help us. Hector. I think I've got a, I've got a, a friend named Hector. Maybe he, he's a part of Maybe that's who's in this game. He went missing three years ago. Maybe that's why they titled this game Hector. I have no clue. Whoa. Now, a lot of these cutscene things I'm not going to talk through very much. I'm going to try to let you guys get to take it all in. Which will see epic dance parties. Tires, scissors, feathers, waterboard, and oil are most barbaric tools. My favorite toy of all is the needle. There is elegance about sewing a man back together. Oh. That don't sound fun. My hand is not as steady as it once was. That sounds horrible. You're mean. Drilled into that dude's skull, I'm guessing. Now, this game is more of like a psychological horror game. And it gives you the impression that there's creatures... Or a creature that hunts you down and tries to kill you, or and some other things that happen, some other things, some that you fight, and we'll see how early on that actually gets into the game. Because most horror games jump you right into some some action, with, at least within the fifth, first fifteen minutes to twenty minutes. So first impressions, everything. So let's start. I started. Okay, looking around, I have this wonky vision going on. Looks like I'm pretty much drunk for some reason. Okay. Okay, I picked up my lighter here. What else can I do? Okay, I can crouch. Okay, can I jump? No. I can hold shift to run. That's pretty standard in most horror games. Now, it's... I like the... The graphics look pretty good. Whoa. I'm like on this acid trip or something. Like I'm actually... It looks like I'm drunk or... Wait, why is my vision like this? It needs to quit being so bad, so drunk. Uh, so far, so 
you know, I hear talking and whispering in my headset, which I've got my headset. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up a little bit more because the music in the title screen was extremely loud. I don't know why it should have been that loud, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can... Okay, I can't turn on any kind of... Anything in the options menu for text or uh, voice to text or subtitles, as I like to call them. And also, this is a randomly generated horror game, so it likes to, like, while you play, it actually randomly generates the hallways you're going through. Okay, well, we're actually into some gameplay, so I'm going to go ahead and start my timer. I forgot to start that before. So we got a few extra minutes. Whoa! A little bit of the atmosphere touches there. The lighting's really nice. We got some shadow effects. Yeah, we got some shadow effects on the clothing here. Okay, what was that? Okay, I picked up some medicine. I'm not sure what that's for. Can I go ahead? And... Okay, F, you can actually take it. And yeah, I've played a little bit of it, and it told you before what the medicine does, but I don't remember. I can't figure. I, can't I think it helps you with your vision and keeps you from like seeing things. I guess. If you let it take you over and like the like your vision's all extremely blurry. Lose tweets, sink fleets. Yeah, you better not have loose tweets. I guess you're talking about. Uh, no. How about I not help you? Whoa! See, that's what I'm talking about. Back here before there, I was just I ran back this way. I know I did. I know I ran back where I came. What happened there? Whoa, okay, now it's fucking with me. That's what I like. Go ahead and hit my medicine again. Vision's getting all wonky. Alright, can we... Okay, we can't go that way. But we can go this way. See how it randomly just throws... It semi-randomly generates. I don't... I don't think it really actually generates... Because this happened to me before. I think it's kind of scripted, but in a sense that you still have that, it throws you around a lot, and things makes things a little different, I'm not about, not sure about, uh, like in Daylight, Daylight did the same thing, like it randomly generated the areas every time you started a new game, and every time you played, I don't know if this game is the same way, or if it's different, ooh, and I forgot to turn my Facebook notifications off, I hate when I do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and check in here. Hello, anyone home? It looks like the locker room. Looks like I could. I wonder if I could take me a shower in here. I gotta wash myself off all the blood that's on me from the dude drilled my head, which doesn't really give you an idea of how long you've been in here. Don't even know where you're at, really. As far as I can take from the description, you're in a uh, a bunker, I think. That doesn't give you much. Information. Can I turn on the showers? I need to take a quick shower, wash his blood off. No, I can't. That's yeah, figures. They want you to run around drenched in blood. To get the monster's attraction easier so you can die quicker. I like that. I like that a lot. But I love the atmosphere, the gameplay so far, as far as I can tell, you have to take medicine, which drugs is bad, okay? Unless you're on prescriptions. I would never tell you to ever take drugs. Whoa! Unless you're going through some shit like this, then maybe that's okay. If you're seeing weird shit like this, what's in Stop here? The water. Start the fire. Huh? Start the water, start the fire. Okay, can I start the water then? Maybe that's part of our, our mission. The fuck? Okay, some good semi jump scares, but that's gonna get old if that's all we have is the the rocks falling down that that gets old I don't I like jump scares that are more subtle which these are kind of subtle jump scares I like that but I don't like it a repetitive jump scare like that it, it kind of gets old but I'm guessing we're underground if we're having rocks and shit fall on us so it does lend itself to the is that like voices in his head I'm, I'm wondering if that may be the case because he just had his fucking head drilled into Let's go ahead and take another medicine. I don't know what they're for, to be honest. It doesn't really give you any indication what you use them for, so... Let's look back here, see if we can find anything. It almost kind of reminds you of Amnesia, the first little bit, with the... the 
whole having to go through like this whole sanity thing. I'm guessing. Maybe that's what it is that I'm thinking more about. It's amnesia. It kind of reminds me of amnesia with the sanity effect. This shit kind of gets weird when things... Okay, we can go in that door. Let's go back for a minute before I do that. No, 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 no. This is one of those games that I can enjoy the atmosphere a lot more than I can intense battles with whatever horrible creature could be in here. It reminds me of Amnesia mixed with Outlast. Oh, here we go. Our first note. Is it my turn? I'm sitting at my desk pretending to work. Oh. If you look like you're writing and focused on what you're doing, nobody bothers you. I've been watching the guy two desks over from me for a few days now. I don't know his name yet. He looks okay. agitated, and then the doctor calls him in for these therapy sessions. I'm not sure what they do to him in there, but when he comes out, he's placidly calm. He has his gold watch that they let him wear. I'm not sure why they let him keep it. They confiscate all personal items when you're transferred to Hector. They even took my bear. I know it's stupid, but it helps me sleep. That is cool. Like, it actually reads to you, so I don't have to read this stuff to you. Yes! I've been waiting for a horror game like that. <laughs> it kind of gets kind of tedious. It kind of wears on you when you have to read the notes. I'm kind of glad to be back, guys, doing these videos for you guys, and I hope that you guys are going to appreciate these videos. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Okay, let's go and investigate. Okay, I know, I swear I heard something going on in here. I wonder if Cratch helps you, like, hide from the creature or whatever is supposed to chase you. Hello? Cracking the wall? Nothing we could do. Yeah, yeah, you said that, like, what, two minutes ago, maybe? Oh, here's some batteries. Yes, there's some batteries. What's our time frame right now? We've got about, yeah, it's not too bad. We got some, we still got some time to investigate. Let's check in here. Anything going on in here in the bathroom? No. It is the men's bathroom. Okay, let me in. Okay, something must be holding that door shut on us. Whoa. What the fuck was that? More that that atmos lovely atmosphere and the lovely sounds that these horror games can produce. I like that. Filing. Okay. Can't go in there, but it looks like we can go in here. Hello? Whoa, that actually made me jump. Holy crap. Some game, some horror games can, can use that atmosphere. That's what they need to do that could scare you. Hello? I don't know why I'm talking to myself, but it just seems to help. Atmosphere is just, it's excellent, dude. I've, I've got to give it to this game. It's has some good atmosphere. What's in here? I heard someone. Hello? Intelligence. Okay, well, that's nothing. Surveillance. What? I'm st yeah, I'll find a way out. You don't scare me with your... I'm stuck here bullshit. Damn, nothing. I can't go in anywhere. What? What's this over here? Ah, oh, it's another note. Sweet. Jackson is putting in a petition to make our conditions better. Heat, hot food, news from our family. Oh, okay. Well, that's always a good thing. You always want to hear from your family. Oh, okay. Is this something I can do here? All right, here we go. We can finally get to do something. Tape is full. Aha! Rejected it. No tape. Hmm. Find the tape. I will find the tape. 
Wait, was that a door that can open? Oh, it's a door that can open. Yay! It's even got the same mechanic to open doors as Amnesia. I just realized that. Another battery. I don't know what... I guess we're going to get a flashlight maybe later? Haven't seen it yet, but I guess that's what's going to happen is getting a flashlight. I guess we just need to keep going straight here. Hello? Hmm. Isn't that where I was just at? Yeah, I came up here. Okay, never mind. I came up this way. It got, like, eerily silent. I do not like that. I do not like where this is going. Please talk to me, somebody. Hmm? No, can't go there. Eerie silence. Yeah, you just told me that just a minute ago. What's up with that? Ah, nothing. I can't go in there either. I can go, okay, I gotta go back through here, I guess. Ah, another note. Another note. We're being filmed. Everything we do here ends up on a tape somewhere. Everything. I started seeing the place differently after I realized that. Those who've been here for a while always kept their heads down. They were always curt when you tried to talk to them. They didn't want to implicate themselves in anything. I've walked by the surveillance rooms before, but we don't have clearance to enter. It's a good bet that's where they're keeping the tapes. Okay, so I need to go to the surveillance room. Okay. I'm actually stopping and unstarting whenever I go on my... go on these notes for the timer because it... Because the game itself actually stops while I'm reading those notes. Whoa, what the fuck? I know I wasn't the only one that heard that. That that was not... Uh-uh, fuck that. Can I close the... Close the door. Close the door. Okay. Oh, let's take my medicine. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. Oh. My dude's like, yes. <laughs> Take the drugs. Can't go in there, damn it. What? Yeah, okay. Because we're getting close to being over. Ah, another battery. Sweet. Whenever I get a fucking flashlight, maybe I can use the damn thing. Hmm. We're getting close to the end of our our actual thing for this. Then what we'll do is we'll actually talk about it for about a minute. And then I'll end it here as soon as I find a spot to as soon as my timer goes off. And we'll see if that was actually enough time to actually see what this game had. As Okay, I thought that gave me something to do there. Told him what? Oh, this is getting creepy. Okay, I'm down here. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that's just a light. Let's read some more notes here. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's been working for two days straight. He hasn't gone up to use the washroom. I haven't seen him in the mess hall or the dorms. He hasn't said a word in days. He just sits there, working. Sometimes I hear him moaning a little bit from his desk. I don't think he knows he's doing it. I don't think he knows he's doing it either. Got another note here. Let's go ahead and read it again. I haven't seen Jackson for three days. Did he, did he go home? I don't know, did he? We're down to two minutes on our timer. And what I want to explain about this game so far that I like is just being able to kind of this, this changing atmosphere going on I'm still looking for this one room that has okay I think I found something yes I did actually yay but this was like downstairs when I played it and I found the camera the, the actual tape it wasn't it wasn't downstairs it was actually
Hmm, that's creepy. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? I was just downstairs, wasn't I? Yeah, fuck you. Now where the hell am I? Whoa! I can't go that way. What happened to my... The hell? I always want to do the camera part before the timer goes out. Stop here. We got another note. They've gone missing. The ten who signed the petition have gone missing. Alright. See, let's find this tape and then we'll... Go ahead and end it there once we figure out where the fuck we're supposed to go again. It pretty much warped me back where I was at before. I'm trying to find the surveillance tape room, which I cannot find it anywhere. There's not a map system, so you can't just look at the map. Whoa, okay. Okay, never mind. Alright, I won't go that way. Okay, what the fuck? Whoa, the fuck! Whoa! I approached the door careful. Yeah, let's just take some more pills. The immortal fuck. Oh hell, here we go. Oh, what's Oh, that was some creepy shit. I'm not gonna lie. It, uh, oh, we got us. <laughs> we got us a floaty note. Kane is looking over here. He always stares at me. I'm writing this note so I look busy. I don't want him to come over. He hurts me. Keep writing. Keep writing the note. Not that it matters anyway. I'm one of the only women in Hector, and Kane is a fucking animal. He comes into my dorm almost every night, and he touches me. I pretend to be asleep until he finishes. I pretend to be asleep until he leaves. And then I cry as quietly as possible so he doesn't hear and come back. He gets angry when I'm awake. Well, sounds like some crazy shit went down in Hector. This Kane fellow was like raping women. The only woman, actually, to be honest. So we're in the mouth of the beast now. Yes. taken literally either okay I'm trying to find where this video the we were just got lost apparently all right let's go back up here or let's go up here we haven't been up here yet we have to hit it eventually because this one I want in my video aha oh Come on, do you not close? I am closing this door. You sack. Close up. Thank you. Alright, let's see what we got on this tape now. Oh. What the hell is that? Is that a person there? Okay, I've got to keep lighting my flame to make it stronger, it looks like. That is creepy. Alright, guys. That's it for Hector. Let's go ahead and pause it right here. I hope you guys enjoy it. My... 
first impression of Hector is it's got atmosphere. I don't know about the creatures yet. It looks like we're going to have to play further in. So let me know in the description, or not in the description, let me know in the comments below. Like the, the video. Let me know if you actually want me to keep doing this. What the hard where we play the first 15 minutes, talk about the game, uh, kind of get into some goofiness, and just kind of one-shot it unless you want to see more of the game. If you want to see more of it, like the video. Make sure to leave comments down below. Let me know you guys are watching. Uh, share this with your friends. I would really appreciate it. I would want to see this channel grow as best as I can, as big as we can. There's so many great things I have planned for this channel. All right, guys. Well, this is SoyaXTR. I hope that you guys love the video and the new thing that I'm going to be doing with this. All right, guys. Well, I'm out of here. And until next time, don't let the boogeyman get you. SoyaXTR out.